Welcome to Wannabe Clutter Free, formerly Wannabe Minimalist, the podcast for busy families who are tired of the chaos, fed up with being overwhelmed, and ready to enjoy life again. Each week, we talk about how to let go of the clutter so that you can focus on the things that actually matter. And it's not just physical clutter. We talk about the mental and emotional stuff too, because if it's holding you back, it's time to ditch it. I share what I've done in my own life to declutter, organize, and calm the chaos, but you won't just hear it from me. There are amazing guests too. It's practical, doable, and simple for those of us that want to be clutter-free. Welcome to the Wannabe Minimalist Show, episode number 21. Today's episode will spill the beans on how to stay organized every day, even if you are starting from a place of complete chaos. And the extra special secret sauce is that it can be done in less than an hour a day. Hey, you want to be minimalist friends. I'm your host, Deanna Yates, and today's topic is a good one. I'm talking about the secret to getting and staying organized every day, and it takes less time than you think. So it's totally doable, no matter where you're starting from. Without further ado, let's get to the secret to becoming organized every day. Hello, little green bow friends and my wannabe minimalist group. Um, I'm excited to hop in today. I'm going to pull up my notes so that I don't get distracted because it's super easy to do that. So I wanted to jump in here today. Um, I just had a topic that was really weighing on my heart and I thought that it would be really helpful for you as well. And so let's just jump in. All right. So welcome, honestly, to another week of struggling to remember what day it is. It's Tuesday, right? I, I, honestly, all the days are melding together. My daughter is now on spring break. It's raining all week in San Diego, and it's just been a challenge. And I know I am not alone. And so that is why I am here today. Um, and what I want to talk to you about, um, I really wanted to jump on here because I think today's topic can be a game changer. It is a little secret and it is the secret about how to be organized every day. Now I'm not talking about perfect. There is no such thing as perfect. Um, as humans, we always want more. We always want better. So even if you take a step and make progress, um, you will never feel like it is perfectly done or that, you know, you can stop. So Know that perfection is not something that we can attain, but that progress is definitely worth it. And so I want to tell tell you about how we stay organized and um, just give you some tips that have helped for us. And as busy moms, you know, we all know how unbelievably overwhelming it can be to create the right routines in your home. Those ones that can sustain that calm and peaceful and happy home that runs smoothly. And I think that's something we all want. Uh, we all just want to be happy and feel alive in our homes. And we want that for our families too. And now, honestly, with this global pandemic, it is more important than ever. So I just want to ask, how have you been holding up? You know, we're spending all this time with our families. How are you guys doing? You guys doing all right? I hope so. Um, I really hope that um, this is a time where you guys are able to connect. And I'm going to be honest with you. Some of it has been good for us and some of it has been crazy and bad. And I've yelled more than I'd like to admit. And I've been frustrated more than I like to admit. But again, you guys, it's not about perfection. It is about making progress. And you are probably hearing my daughter yell in the other room. And um, my husband and I have been trading off. So um, uh, he's got Tuesday, Thursday mornings. And so, uh, yeah, they're playing downstairs. They're making a lot of noise the way dads and daughters do. And I am up here trying to record this for you. So I apologize if you're hearing her um, or them in the background. Um, but, you know, I am really glad when this hit, I'm glad that I've been working on our routines and our um you know, on our home and decluttering as long as I have. I've been at it for a few years now, and I can understand that if this is new to you, you probably just want somebody to come along, send you and your family on a mini vacation, get your home home organized and in order, create that perfect system for you and your family, and then just plop you right back into place. Everything done and ready to go. And you know, it kind of reminds me of those home improvement shows from the mid-2000s. 
Do you remember those where they would just come in and make the house perfect? And, you know, now we have the extreme home makeover and I don't really know that that actually works in the end. It's just a fantasy we all have. But if that's what you're looking for, then I have some help for you today. And I shared this with my email friends this morning. And if you are not receiving my emails, just go over to my website. You can easily find a way to sign up. I have lots of fun, free things for you over there. I have a quiz that's brand new that will tell you your clutter profile. I have um, a minimalist starter kit if that's something you're interested in pursuing. I have um, uh, lots of helpful printables in a free library. So just hop on over there. I got lots of good stuff for you over there. And then between my email list and my private uh, wannabe minimalist Facebook group, that's really where I share all of my best advice, tips, and encouragement. Um, and in fact, we have a decluttering challenge going on over there right now. And some of you are making some really great progress. So hop on over if that's something you want to join into. But let's get back to what I wanted to talk about today, which is the secret for being organized every day. And it's not as complicated as you might think. The secret to being organized every day starts with creating the right routines. Okay? It means saying yes to the things that will move you closer to the dream life that you have playing out in your head and no to the things that make this next minute easier, but this next year, a complete struggle. It's implementing small but powerful steps that will get you organized. And you just need to know what they are. There are a couple foundational systems you need to make a priority if you're ready to give up the chaos. And I have six things for you, but they will take you less than an hour each day in total. That's all together, okay? I'm Margaret. And I'm Amy. And together we host the podcast, What Fresh Hell? Laughing in the Face of Motherhood. Margaret, I would say you're sort of a where are my keys kind of mom. Correct. Sometimes a where are my kids kind of mom. <laughs> well, you're Amy more of a we were supposed to leave 35 seconds ago, mom. I mean, touche. In each episode of What Fresh Hell, we come at a topic from our usually completely opposite perspectives. I bring the research. And I bring kind of the gimlet eye. Like, is that research really going to work, people? And almost 10 million downloads later, we're still laughing. We also talk to experts in the parenting field, plus parents with stories we can all learn from. We make each other laugh, we challenge each other's assumptions, and we have what we think is the best parenting community on the internet. Check out What Fresh Hell? Laughing in the Face of Motherhood wherever you listen to podcasts. And then once you have a good system in place, it gets much easier. And you can actually cut out a couple of these things or cut down on the time they t it takes you to do them. All right, so those foundational routines that you need are, one, a daily planner, two, a laundry routine, three, a dishes routine, four, a 15-minute family tidy up, five, a 15-minute declutter every day if your home is still somewhat chaotic and still has a lot of clutter, and six, a 15-minute clean every day. That's it. Those six things will take you less than an hour a day and you can make the progress toward that home and life you've dreamed about. And you can do it all without that fantasy HGTV makeover for that team from the mid 2000s and their TV magic. Okay. So let's talk about each of those just a little bit more and I'll get, let you get on with your day. Um, but that first one is a daily planner. Now, this is just a book that you write down everything that you need to do that day. It's a little bit of a to-do list and a little bit of um, the routines you have in place and, you know, anything that you guys have going on right now, there's a lot less going on in our daily lives. So we don't have those classes we have to go to. We don't have the after-school activities. We don't have um, that kind of stuff. But a daily planner, when we do get back to our normal routines, is a game changer. That way everybody's on the same page. I highly recommend putting it in a family command center type place, somewhere where everybody can see it. And then from there, hang on one second, I've got something kind of beeping at me. Oh, okay, never mind. Um, but from there, I, uh, you know, that daily stuff can just kind of go in there. So you can put your meal plans in there. You can put... Um, 
like, like I said, all those activities. Um, this way you and your significant other stay on the same page and you know what's happening that day. Your kids know what's happening. There's less questions, less demand on you coming up with uh, the answers. Everybody can look on the schedule book and know what's happening that day. Okay, so that's the number one thing you need to do. The second thing is your laundry routine. Now, there are two ways to do laundry. When I was younger, I did the second way, which was the batch, kind of batching all your laundry and doing it on one day. Now, it was much easier back then because I had less laundry. It was just myself. I had less to do. It was much easier. So that's one way to do it. Now, I have probably five or six loads that I need to do on a weekly basis. It's a little bit less when we're staying home and we're wearing sweats every day, but on a regular basis, I have that many loads because there's three of us and we go out and we do lots of things. So instead of spending my entire Saturday doing laundry, I do one load a day and it makes a huge difference. And I pair it with my 15 minute cleaning routine. So I'll tell you about that in a minute. But so we do, um, Sheets on one day, towels on one day, whites on one day, darks on one day, and colors on another. And that's it. Super simple. I put it in before I leave um, to take my daughter to school. And then I switch it when I get back to the house. And then at lunchtime, usually, I will take it out of the dryer and fold it and put it away. That's it. If you work out of the home, you can kind of follow that same schedule. You'll put it in in the morning before you leave. You will change it as soon as you get home, and then you will fold it after dinner. And it doesn't take that long. Yes, the laundry itself takes a couple hours, but your hands-on time is 10 minutes. The second is your dishes routine. Or sorry, the third is your dishes routine. And that is running the dishwasher every night. Now, some people get really extreme and do one plate, one bowl, one fork, one spoon, one knife, one set of dishes per family member. And if you have a large family, I can see that that would be very helpful. We only have three people, so we have enough dishes that we can do breakfast, lunch, and dinner without having to clean things in between. So that's what we do. We have our breakfast, which is usually cereal. Then lunch is leftovers right now from the night before to make it very easy. And then dinner is a meal that I prepare. And at the end of the day, we wash up the dinner, the dishes from dinner. So those get hand washed and all of the other plates and knives and utensils and cups and everything else gets put in the dishwasher. And I run that right before I go to bed. And then I unload it in the morning. And again, this doesn't take that long when you do it incrementally as the day goes on. And then the fourth thing you need to do is a 15 minute tidy up. And this has been amazing for our family. So we make a mess all day long and we clean it up as we go best as we can. But oftentimes you have these little projects and these things that you're playing with and you don't want to put them away because you're still going to go back to them at the end of the day. Well, when we are done, and done is in after dinner, we've had some relaxing time, we've either played some games or we've watched a show or something, and we are ready to go get ready for bed. This is about 6.45 every night. We spend 15 minutes, we set the timer, we put on some good music, and we spend 15 minutes putting everything away. And with three of us, it usually doesn't even take that long. And that way, when we wake up in the morning, it's all good. The house is clean. I don't go to bed with a mess. It's so much easier for me to function in the morning. That's when I get up and I do my work and I don't have to think about how messy the house is. And so that one has been, I mean, I hate to use the word game changer again, but it has revolutionized how we live our lives. The next one is if you're um, the 15 minute declutter. And if you are struggling with having too much stuff in your home, then this one is one you need to implement. 15 minutes a day, you will be amazed at how much you can do in just a few minutes. In 15 minutes, you can go through with a grocery bag um, or a garbage bag and find things that you don't even need. And start simple. 15 minutes, pick up all the trash you can in your house in 15 minutes. Go around from room to room with a garbage bag and pick it up. That will make a big difference. The next time, go through and find 10 items that don't belong in that room and go take them to where they should go. That really will help. The next time, 15 minutes, find 15 things you don't like or you don't really love or you just 
they irked you or they just kind of grate you the wrong way when you see them, that will make a big difference. So this 15 minute declutter, it doesn't sound like much, but it adds up over time. And that really is the big thing. I had a friend who was decluttering her um, home office and she said it was a space she hadn't touched in years. But a 15 minute declutter, if you can do that every day consistently, you will get through that space and it will be amazing because every time you go back, it makes it a little bit easier. You get a little bit more confident. You can say no to things a little bit quicker than you did before. And you really start to hone in on what you like and don't like and what you want to keep and what you don't want to keep. And it is amazing. So 15 minutes, just give yourself 15 minutes. And then the last one is a 15 minute clean. And I actually usually do this around lunchtime because I work from home. So I don't, doesn't take me that long. I don't need an hour lunch break. If I'm heating up leftovers, I need about 15 minutes to heat it up, eat it maybe 20 minutes. And so then I can spend 15 minutes cleaning and it just really kind of lays down that day really well for me. So 15 minutes, uh, do a bathroom. You can clean up, you can vacuum, you can do the mirrors, the windows. Um, I have a weekly cleaning schedule uh, that has been very helpful. And so if you sign up for the email list, I'll send you that as well. And it gives you one room a day that you can clean in 15 to 30 minutes. It really just depends on how big your house is, um, how the level of detail that you like to get. I like a clean space, but um, it doesn't need to be super detailed. It just needs to be clean. <laughs> and so, um, so I can do all that in 15 minutes. So those are the foundational routines that you need that will really make your life organized every single day. And again, just for those of you that just hopped on, it is a daily planner where you lay out what your plans are for the day, what your goals are for the day, um, and you can even put your meal plans in there just to keep it really simple. A laundry routine where you do one load of laundry a day or you batch that at the end of the week, I prefer the one a day. The dishes routine where you run your dishwasher every night. Your 15-minute family tidy up at the end of the day so that your house is clean when you wake up in the morning. Your 15-minute declutter if you're trying to get rid of things in your home because you have too much stuff. That one really makes a big difference in a small amount of time. And your 15-minute clean. And that way, you don't have to spend your whole weekend cleaning from top to bottom. It really is done on a regular basis. All right, pretty good stuff, huh? Now, I have something to ask of you. Which of these six daily tasks are you most excited to start? I'd love to hear about it and would sincerely appreciate you sharing it with our listeners, readers, and families. So come on over to my free private wannabe minimalist group on Facebook and share your thoughts from today's episode. Go ahead and comment on the live video. The group is totally free and you can find us by clicking on the link in the show notes or by searching for wannabe minimalist on Facebook. I want to meet you there and connect with you. Learning from all of you is one of my favorite things, so I really do hope I see you there. That wraps up today's episode. Join me here again same time next week. I'd love to be able to tell you what we're discussing, but honestly, each day is bringing new discoveries and concerns, so I'm not 100% sure myself, but I promise I will make sure it is worth your time. Cheers.